commodity uh, crop farming is, is competitive. It tends to be a thin margin advantage where truly resource use efficiency matters. So everyone is always looking for what is an edge, what's a new opportunity, how can I uh, increase revenues and decrease costs. Double cropping is a way to massively increase land use efficiency and with demonstrations of how that can be successful, other farmers will adopt quickly and farmers have always shown uh, an ability to learn from their neighbors very rapidly. The heavy rainfall that we have here in the south is a risk, a problem, and an opportunity all at once. It's a risk because if we make ruts in the field in the fall uh, with a late harvest, they essentially become lakes in the spring that you can't farm through and it's possible to lose a whole season. Water is also a problem because it causes a lot of runoff and it, and it goes downstream. But water is also the opportunity because 50 to 60 inches of water is a resource that allows us to grow more than twice as much as we're growing right now. So to be able to put that to the use of the crop and use more of that water that ends up transpiring through the crop instead of running off is uh, increasing productivity and reducing downstream pollution at the same time. You know, there are certainly ambitious projects in agronomy or in engineering where somebody starts and one of the learnings is this is not possible or it's a bad idea. We've kind of gone through those, those gating issues that have shown us that this, this in fact has the potential that, that we've hoped for. So you know, Wade has had spots of excellent yield. He's seen um, benefits in the soil tilth, uh, benefits of changing up the timing of uh, some of the machinery demands markets that are hungry for crops that he's never produced before. So strong demand for the canola that he's never produced before. He's seeing a much better price for corn that he can deliver now at this early time period than where the normal single crop corn would be delivered. So my experience with it been so far, it's really, it's been neat. Uh, it's been interesting. But the southern grower from the time his crops planted to the time he gets through, he's worked that crop constantly. I mean, it, I mean, either they're laying polypipe and water, and there's constantly something they've got to do. Fall work on the ground here is critical. Any work we can do in the fall, we're going to be more profitable in the spring. So my experience with these beans behind corn for the past few years has been a 42 bushel bean. We think that knowing the, the knowing of course knowing the climate and knowing the soils are the key parts, and we need to be really clear to start with to be successful with the double cropping. Thinking in particular about the soil, within fall line we have a sensor that measures the electric conductivity and that gives you a, a really good picture of the variability of soil texture within, within the field. We are ahead of the game if we know that before planting either a winter crop, if we want to double crop it with a summer crop or, or two summer crops. On, on this project we did this year, we, we run that sensor across all our acres that are going to be double crop this year. Before planting, we knew what kind of soils we have within the field and what's the percentage of that different soil texture within that field. After the, the harvest and before planting the double crop, we're going to be doing some soil sampling in, in those fields to be able to confirm the soil texture and different micronutrients. That way we can manage the double crop in a different way depending on the different potential of those soils within the field.